What is going on, everyone? Thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Welcome back to Jonah TV. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know what I got. I did buy a new toy, and I know the thumbnail is not really um, the most secretive. It's easy to tell what it is, but guys, I did get a new fishing kayak. So today's video is not going to be my traditional video. I'm not going to be fishing, although today would have been ideal. The front and storm are moving in, the pressure's dropping, it would have been perfect, but I did decide to take advantage of the nice day and get the garage cleaned out a little bit, get the kayak on the saw horses so I can actually do a complete walkthrough for you guys and show you what I got, explain the things um, that's on the kayak and why I actually got it. So let me get the camera set down. I might be jumping between this camera and the GoPro. Not quite sure how I'm going to do this, but hopefully I can do a good walkthrough for you guys and make a good video. So give me a second, we'll get to the kayak. All right, guys, I'm going to start here at the stern of the kayak. Um, I did get an Old Town Topwater 106. You can see right there. This is the rear. Um, I'll do a little bit more thorough walkthrough on it, but just to kind of show you real quick, this is just the rear uh, storage portion of it. There's no dry storage hatch in this. Um, you got your two flush mount rod holders in the rear. You got cup holders on each side. Collapsible seat. You got another flush mount rod holder there. Um, you got two 18 inch accessory rails you can attach things to it if you want you got your adjustable uh, foot mounts here and you got the dry storage hatch here in the front which is quite big so let me i guess get on the other camera or maybe i'll just flip this around and kind of explain why i went with this kayak uh the features the specs the specifications and then i'll kind of do more of a thorough walkthrough on it for you guys and i'll show you everything it really has to offer and exactly what i plan to do with it so i guess we'll jump on this camera and uh get to talking all right guys so hopefully y'all can see me and hear me um, i do have the camera set up on the other side of the kayak um but i want to go over exactly why i did go with this kayak and what led to my decision now I have been hunting for a fishing kayak for probably six months now. Um, I wanted to go initially with the Vibe Sea Ghost 110 and the reason for that one was because it one is 11 foot kayak. It had everything that I really wanted in a kayak as far as you could stand up on it. Um, it had a lot of you know storage space in it. I've seen videos online of people um, modding it and everything like that for fishing and it just seemed ideal. Now the price point on it wasn't as bad as I figured it'd be. It was $900 and you know it came with so many options and features that caught my eye. The two main things that I liked about that kayak was um, the price wasn't bad at all and two it had a place underneath the kayak where you can actually mount a transducer if you wanted to run a fish finder and i do have a fish finder i just don't you know or at the time i didn't have a kayak so that was one of the things that i liked about it some of the cons with that was the weight capacity um i think if i'm not mistaken that was like only 400 pound weight capacity on it now i'm not a tall guy i'm a little heavy i'm only 240 you know but it kind of gave me 160 pounds to work with that's with me in the kayak and any equipment that i decide to put in it with that being said i think shipping it almost brought everything over a thousand dollars which was still in my budget but i wanted to kind of not spend as much that's buying you know the kayak rack the j loaders that i have on my jeep and it just kind of went over where i really wanted to spend um the other kayak that I looked at was a Pelican Catch 100, and uh, that I really liked. That was actually one of the first kayaks that I saw that was like, I gotta have this. I love the color on it. You know, you could stand on it and everything. The major setback on that was the weight capacity was like 350 pounds, maybe, or 325 pounds, which again gives me like. 90 pounds I believe to kind of work with and I didn't want to take the chance of getting myself on the kayak getting my equipment on and taking that you know maybe crossing the threshold to capsize the kayak while I'm on the water 
didn't want to do it. And I watched some videos on it, and I seen people, um, you know, about my weight, even taller than me. I'm only five seven, so you know, people six foot around my weight trying to get on it and stay steady. It wasn't working, you know, and I just, I really wasn't feeling it. But the price point is what kind of sold me. It was only seven hundred dollars. So, um, I would say probably about three weeks ago ish um, I went to go buy that kayak and this is all before this whole you know quarantine thing that everyone's going through I'm sure you guys are going through it and so um, <laughs> I went to go probably get the kayak that day I already had the roof rack on the Jeep the J loaders everything set up and actually came uh, across this kayak we went to Academy I came across this kayak and I was like man I really like this I looked at it um, seemed good I couldn't find any specifications on the little sticker that they had um, that told me like weight could pass anything like that but I really liked it of course it had the collapsible seat it had two height adjustments on it um, I mean it worked it had something on the bottom that I wasn't too sure about so I told you know goat was with me and I told her you know what let's go home and let me look this kayak up. let me look at some stuff maybe I can uh, maybe I'll you know change my mind Oh, sorry, I'm actually shivering. It's kind of getting cold. The front's moving in, so I'm a uh, like my body shake. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm like freezing. But um, anyways, I got home and I looked this kayak up, and this kayak has everything that I need to a T. I don't really have any cons with it, but also haven't taken out the water. So one of the main things that I really liked about this kayak that was the number one thing was the weight capacity. It's got a 440 pound weight capacity. To me, that's awesome. That gives me 200 pounds to play with. Myself and any gear that I take, I don't think I'll have any issue um, overloading this kayak. Um, second, it did have, or it does have, a plate underneath the kayak to mount a transducer. A transducer? Is that right? A transducer for a fish finder. Again, I have my fish finder, and now I have a kayak to put it on, and there's a place to mount the transducer so I don't have to, you know, concoct anything and make some sort of contraption to use it. So it makes it very easy to actually mount on one of these uh, accessory rails and, and use it, and that was the number two thing. Um, the number three thing was the actual weight of the kayak. <coughs> Excuse me. The weight of the kayak is only 73 pounds. The Vibe Sea Ghost, I believe, was 94 pounds or 95 pounds, which, if you know, I don't, I don't have a truck, so I can't haul this. I can't trailer it. You know, I have, I have a Jeep, but the J loaders, um, they're only rated for about 75, 80 pounds, I think, and I did not want to push it. You know, loading the Sea Ghost on those, and I'm driving down the road, and all of a sudden my equipment fails, and now I got, you know. X amount of car pilot behind me because my damn kayaks rolling down the highway. So that was a that was a thing that kind of unsold me on that. Um, now maybe if I had a truck or a trailer or something like that that I could pull, it probably would have been great. This again is only 73 pounds. It you know it fits on the J loaders. We brought it home from Academy, had no problems. We drove 65 or 70 down the highway and. I mean, it was it was awesome. So that's the number three thing that sold me on this kayak. Um, but overall, like I said, it, it, six months I've been looking at kayaks, trying to find the right ones. My brother has a kayak, and he, uh, you know, I see how much fun he has going out fishing. And of course, you know, when you have you know a vessel or you know boat, kayak, anything that you have that can get you in the water into places that's beyond bank fishing, um, you you know, it's more fun. I'm, you know, I, I believe that you know get big fish that way to me but you know it doesn't mean you can't get big fish just bank fishing so but that is why I went with this kayak um, I'm super happy I got to sit it down on the ground before I got the saw horses and kind of test the seat to where it's comfy for me uh, to where my feet are placed correctly um, where it's not uncomfortable the, using the assist strap to stand up um, everything worked out all right guys so I'm gonna hop back on the GoPro um, I'm gonna walk around the kayak one more time do another walkthrough, but this time a little more thorough, explain some things, show you guys exactly what it has on it. Um, I'll show you guys the transducer mount or the transducer plate, whatever's underneath there, I'll show you guys that. And then I'll probably hop back on this camera and I will 
talk about the plans I have for this kayak and what uh, 2020 has in store for me. Of course, if you know we get off this quarantine thing, uh, maybe I'll be able to go out. But you know, if you guys are doing the whole social distancing type thing or whatever's going on, you know what? You don't have to social distance yourself from nature. If you guys fish, you go, you hike, you camp, go out and do that. Go out and enjoy it. You know, while everything's closed down. Um, I don't know. Some states I know are going under like complete lockdown. Ours hasn't got there yet. Of course, I'm in Kentucky, but it's not going to stop me from going out and fishing. Not everyone out here fishes, so you know, unless you are fishing with multiple people and you have to practice the six feet thing, whatever, um, do that. But you know, go out and enjoy. The outdoors go out and enjoy nature go out and, and just fish go out and kayak go out and do something you know i've been cooped up in my house you know after a surgery before and that was it, it drove me crazy so if you guys are out of work and you're off go out and do something go out and have fun go out and enjoy something so let's hop on the gopro let's do another walk around and we're back on the gopro guys we're starting in the back of the kayak again um so let me show you this again this is just the rear storage area there is no dry hatch um to this at all now i don't really plan on carrying a lot of stuff on this really um maybe eventually get one of those uh kayak dollies with the wheels i'll store back here somehow and um so i don't have to drag it i know i've seen some people that drag their kayaks to wherever they're going and you got you know these little these little drag plate things here which i don't know what they're called if you know it drop it down in the comments i'm sorry i don't know but um people i've seen people have to plastic weld their kayaks together because you know they're dragging it so much as a matter of fact my brother had to do that to his and i don't want to do that so i would like to get some sort of like dolly that you can just wheel this thing um, out to the water and just put the wheels back here but um i mean i think there's a spot for like little ice chest um it may be a milk crate. I don't even know if I'm going to carry all that because I really don't carry that much with me fishing anymore. I used to be that guy that carried every damn thing I had out to the water and it just gets heavy. So now I carry two tackle boxes and a terminal tackle box and that's pretty much it. So um, I don't know what I'm going to have in here. But the I don't know also because I did get this at Academy. I don't know if you go on Old Town's website if these are supposed to come with a paddle or oar, whatever. This didn't come with one. They just grabbed it off the shelf, brought it up to the front. So I ended up buying, um, buying my own from them. Um, it's just a Magellan one. It's, hell, I think I paid like $30 for it. Um, you know, it does a job. Now, the kayak did come with this mount here um, for, uh, for the paddle. Uh, the only thing with this, it has screws already on it. And I didn't screw it into this. It has um, already some flush mount. I guess adapters in it that these go into the only problem is uh, i don't know how um sturdy this may be so i'm gonna probably take these out eventually um and put some loctite on them just so i don't lose you know this on the water but you know it's, it's actually pretty cool that it came with that so um you also got your flush mount rod holders you got two in the rear um, which is pretty cool. So, you know, again, I only carry about two rods with me anyway. So maybe, you know, I'll carry a spinning rod and two uh, casting setups. But um, now, if I start doing some sort of uh, fishing tournaments in the kayak, I might get something that can hold more. Um, that's probably when I utilize a milk crate with the holders and whatnot, or get some rod holders for the accessory rails. But for right now, two ain't bad. Um, it does have cup holders. It has cup holder on each side. Um, which most people you watch videos they say oh i'm gonna put my beer in here i don't drink but i'll probably put um my water a monster or something like that again you got your seat this is you know you can it's adjustable seat you know you can adjust it on you know where you want it i have it set to this is where it's come to me when i had it on the ground um it's easy pretty much just on clips you unclip it and you can move it to either the height adjustment this is on the highest setting which is more comfortable for me to actually use the assist strap to stand up but you do have you know the little clips that it goes in very easy to to move up or down and it does have a lot of space underneath the seat so if i want to put some of my uh 
tackle boxes underneath there, some extra stuff or you will like that. It, uh, I have it, so it's good. Um, and you do have another uh, flush mount rod holder here in the front, which is amazing. So now we'll move on to the deck. Um, this is, I guess, the pad. You know, I, you know, I only stepped on it with shoes. I don't know how it is on bare feet, um, but I would assume that can't be too bad. And I don't have any scupper plugs, um, so this will, I'll probably have to go get some. But, um, oh, wow, I didn't even see that. You guys can see this. Actually, got a little ruler. That's pretty neat. I did not see that. So, go out a little there for your fish. Um, again, this is the assist strap to help you stand up. Just pull on it, helps you stand up. Um, you do have your uh, little little feet pedal things here. So, you move up and back. You know, whatever you wherever your adjustment is that fits for you. Mine there. Um, and of course, you got two 18-inch accessory rails. Which is awesome because I know the Pelican had like two six inch ones and it just didn't seem like it was enough um, for really what I want to put on. But again, I don't know what I'm going to put on this other than my fish finder uh, right here and of course everything um, that will go in the dry storage hatch. Uh, other than that, you do have at the front here, you got your dry storage hatch, which is not too bad. It's uh, supposed to be water sealed i don't know how that works i haven't tried on the water yet um i got a first aid kit in there you always have to have a first aid kit um but it is nice size in here um can't really see a whole bunch but decent size storage so put my life vest in there put my uh, battery for the fish finder in there and all sorts of stuff and of course you got your your handles you do have four handles you got one in the front one in the rear and you got two on each side and then you got your drain plug in case you somehow take on water and this so here we are underneath the kayak if you can see this this is a little plate right here this actually you unscrew this off and this is kind of a universal uh, mount there that you can mount your transducer to your fish finder and through this little hole right here is where you will actually put the wire to the fish finder that comes up here and i have seen people that have done that and they just kind of drill out a hole here and put kind of a uh, like a wire grommet in the center of here run that wire to there with their battery inside the storage hatch and they end up putting another wire grommet right here that pops out that goes to the fish finder that's on this rail so that will that will definitely happen but that is the kayak you guys that is everything uh, this kayak has to offer um, I'll get back into the camera I'll talk about some plans that I have and I think I'll wrap the video up, so let's get back on the other camera. Alright, so we're off the GoPro now. Hope you guys enjoyed that walkthrough. I hope it was a little more thorough and informational for you all. Y'all, I'm really excited to get this kayak out on the water and fishing on it. I'm looking forward to it. I've talked to a few people that are local, and they um, they already tell me, hey, come come kayak fish with me let's go somewhere and so i'm excited to do that uh, one of which is a guy you've seen on the channel a few times ernesto so he's uh he's got a kayak and he is one to take me out to some lake so uh look forward to that that'll definitely be a video um i don't know if that'll be the main voyage video for this i don't even know when i'm gonna get to that so i am on vacation though till then for the next two weeks so maybe i'll be able to get this on the water and maybe do a review on it and see how I like it. I won't have anything done to it, but I'd at least like to get out and fishing on it. Um, but other than that, I, I do want to bring you guys some content on the kayak. And if you guys want to see uh, me doing, you know, a kayak build, you know, with modifications, you know, the fish finder install or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. Drop a like on the video. By doing that, it lets me know that's the kind of stuff you guys want to see. So I'll kind of switch it up throughout this year between fishing and kayak stuff and hopefully get you guys uh, more interested in the channel. You know, I don't have a whole bunch of followers and that's fine, but this is fun for me, so I'm just really trying to make it fun for you all as well. Um, as far as any more plans for the kayak, other than what I told you guys with the fish finder, which I do in plan, which, which I do plan to install, I don't really have anything else that catches my eye to do to this kayak. I'm, I'm pretty simple. So I really just want to install the fish finder transducer and that's pretty much it. And of course get the uh, little kayak dolly to wheel it down to the water. But other than that, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know. If you guys have any plans or ideas or anything that you want to see me do, um, drop those down in the comments as well. Um, you know, I, I try to read all the comments that I do get, and it's not a whole bunch, but I do try to interact with you guys. And uh, if you guys have ideas, I'd love to hear them. So, other than that, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will hopefully try to get a main voyage video for this kayak soon. Again, like I said, I'm off for the next two weeks, so I have some time. So I will be fishing. I will have some uh, content to upload. Um, I don't even know if I've said it in my last video, but um, if you guys watched the coming home tour uh, from Texas, uh, where I fished with my brother, my brother's actually coming up to visit me uh, next week. Maybe, what's it? No, yeah, next week. So after this weekend, I think he's coming. So um, I'm excited. You know, I haven't fished with him since last October, and uh, him and I are gonna try to. You know, now that we're adults, financially stable. You know, yeah, we live you know four states away from each other, but. Um, we're in a position where we can visit each other more often so but guys thank you all so much uh, for tuning in and bearing with this walkthrough video I'm sorry there wasn't no fishing but I promise you'll have some content of fishing soon so until then guys I'll see you I don't know if I can reach can I reach it ah, whatever I'll see you guys next time peace